Hi, Vuce. Hello, Vuce. I missed you. We missed you, Dion. I've been thinking about you, Vuce. I've been thinking Aww. about you a lot lately. Oh, that is and nice. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah, what is wrong with you, Eustonus? Damn it. You, you keep showing up. You do something worthwhile I mean, with we're, your time. We're, we're thankful. Well, whoa. Like, uh, 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 are we? Um, if it weren't for them, we could have stopped doing this ages ago. Yeah, we could. Oh, God. We could be playing Sea of Thieves right now. Exactly. Dion, Dion, Dion. We are playing Sea of Thieves. That's the spirit. Mm hmm, mm hmm. It's the madness that lets me go on. Yeah. The sugar put in front of the brig downstairs. Hey, yes, sugar! Hey, hey, hey. Your husband isn't here. None of us oh. will stand for that flim flammery. When the Marcus is away, I come out to play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's horrifying. Oh, I love your hat. <laughs> I'd love to wear <laughs> it on, 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 on The keen of Houstoners might have noticed that Marcus isn't here. Well, it's true. You we still have, have both hands. We haven't almost Dion, go... declared war on any sovereign nation through offense this week, so... Yeah. Marcus is definitely not here. Shut up, I'm stealing. Dion, you, why do you still have both hands? I, how do I not have both hands? How do I make it okay. that I don't? you got to go way. buy a hook. Oh, oh no. Thomas, do you know what we did this weekend? What did you did this weekend? We played we watched a Candyman, and we watched. Candyman. Did you watch Candyman? Because I love this Sarah so and I just watched Candyman. Oh wow! Oh, nice. Mhm. Mm nice. I really and like what they did you kept think? Up, they kept with the first uh, one thematically instead of going are, the are we, standard horror. Are we route. adding a, a, a timestamp for? Spoilers, or are we are we getting into a full discussion, or are we just surface level thoughts? Uh, well, surface level surface thoughts, level. and then we'll get into a full discussion. Uh, I really liked it. Uh, I thought that it carried forward the mythos quite well. Yeah. Yeah, it, and it is thankfully not a reboot, but rather a sequel. It is yeah. a sequel. It is a direct sequel. Um, and behoo it behooves you to watch the original first. Yes. yes. I really will was be... very glad that I had recently watched the... There is a, a fantastic moment where you go, Aha! <laughs> <laughs> okay, put on a spoiler thing, because I want to know which moment that was for you. Okay, so you can skip to this point in the video. Yeah. Uh, meow. Spoilers. Okay. Uh, the only the aha was the second you meet his mom. Yes, I know. I said it was the same yeah, actress. The second you meet so the happy. mom, you're like, son of a bitch. It's very funny though because the um, the disparity in the ages doesn't look right. No, it doesn't. So that, yeah. that, I put that, that lady down aged. Too. That lady aged incredibly well. Like fine wine. Yeah. No, she was great. Uh, ugh, couldn't have been that important. Though. Although, yeah, as Jason pointed out, this one was like very scientifically tailored to freak me out with its. Um... Oh yeah, yes, with the first with the hand stuff and then with the trypophobia stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, Sarah had to look the fuck away because she it was making her feel quite ill. Yeah. Uh, Dion's not on board, by the way, Thomas. Uh, uh, I'm Dion. trying to figure Dion... out where in the vanity chest I can find the belt I bought. The belt? Oh, no, no, no. The belt, you have to go to the clothing chest. Northeast. Okay. Uh, there is one on the boat, so you can... Yeah. I want to make an entrance. Like okay. a lady. I, I, like I'll, a lady. I'll, light your I'll light your entrance with my spooky lantern. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, I, unlike you guys, I had not recently watched the original. Mm. <laughs> so I didn't have that moment of recognition with, with It was very, very cool because the OG Candyman has fantastic like it doesn't really have a lot of Ooh you look oh, fantastic. Look you. Hang on. Oh, wait, why wait, do you wait, guys wait. have both um, your legs poses? Uh I don't. But I've got both my legs. I'll be right back. You guys keep I talking don't. about Candyman. Yeah. Um the the kind of the only plot thread in the OG Candyman is why this child is chosen and what he has to do with a grander mythos. 
mm -hmm. and you don't really find it out other than that you can surmise he's a sacrifice but now yeah. with the circle coming full tilt and you learn that mm -hmm. he's the next candy man and that, oh. that that's how it continues and that all of these figures throughout history have been the candy man it's yep. really it's a really yeah. cool tie-in just that emphasis on like basically like immortality through yes. narrative and like it, immortal and immortality got... through narrative and through the injustice of the system that they live in yeah ah oh, so good and uh, i think they got new lines from the actress who played um they did name, the uh, it actually it it straight up featured her the yeah, in the, the credits it says name? featuring uh yeah the what's her name yeah I, so I they, they absolutely got her to record new lines i don't know if it was new lines recorded or old ones no it is it, it is the... it is but she did sound pretty old i didn't so... recognize that yeah i uh, she did sound they just interspersed them really nicely with the old dialogue from when yeah. she's interviewing the two cleaners mm. Mm. oh it was so good with all the mirrors Oh, dude. The, uh, my only uh, and, of it. and all the softer reflections as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I, reflections. I have a critique as well, but I will hear Dion's first. Uh, my critique was basically, it felt like somewhere around the second act, they chopped out about 20 minutes. Yes. I was... So, okay, okay. Yeah, no, that's basically it. Like, something, something yeah. just felt a bit like... Mm, it... I have we progressed a little bit... Rage... We, a, a little too much. Like, yeah, surely have... there had to at least have been one scene where she was like, the fuck is up with your hand? Yeah. The, yeah. The, the two, the, the two you're not going to the issues... doctor the entire time. The two <laughs> main issues I had um, were that from the second act on, it feels like it's too full tilt the whole time. Mm. Like, it doesn't really breathe, and it doesn't really give you much opportunity to go, like, uh, and rise and fall. It's just like it's all on all the time, so again, I think there might have been some stuff cut out. Uh, let's take mm. the skeleton sloop while we're on our way. Um, uh, yeah, and... there's some stuff cut out, and also, um, the teenagers in the bathroom. Did that need to be in there? It did, because it's the kind oh, it's because of because the story grand, has uh... resurfaced. I think that's what yeah, they're the, saying. The grand, oh, okay, and it's yeah, yeah, now, no, no, it's now victimizing sense, yeah. a new community. Because they said afterwards True. that the phrase, um, say his name or say my name, was on the bottom was in blood. Yeah. 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 The other thing I, I felt made stuff feel a, bit feel a bit narratively thin was they were trying to explore so many issues, but kind of didn't really end up exploring any of them. Yeah. It, you know, it's like, okay, well, gentrification is the problem, and this, and this, and this, and this, and also this, and then they kind of get there, but don't really. It felt a mm. little thin on the ground with how many things they were trying to cover. Yeah, like, but like it was still sort of a fantastic the, Okay, coming up the on critic. starboard. Critiquing yep. the critic um, or having should I hook us a... onto it? Uh, no, we can, we can just blast into hell. We've got two cannons. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're critiquing the critic and then kind of making the same mistakes. Yeah. Aim below the waterline if you can, Dion. Uh, uh, oh, it's, for some reason it didn't load the cannonball. There we go. Yeah. Get wrecked. Uh, do we have cannonballs on deck? Yeah, baby. Yep. Yes, we do. The audio cues. You do it for me. It. You live for that audio cue, man. Yeah. No, I'm actually just gonna attach us to them because I'm not doing anything here, so. But yeah, like, like the other minor, mine, minor narrative bubbles aside, uh, we've yeah. we've got them by the way. They're done. Uh, I would have liked okay. a little more of the uh, the OG Candyman's voice. Should we drop the anchor? Yes. <laughs> but that's uh, his no, personal. No, um, no, no. no oh, I would have, okay. I would have, I would have loved. Mm, I dropped the anchor. anchor. It's cool. Just raise the anchor again. I would have loved more Tony Todd. Are you kidding me? The fact that they got him back yeah. is awesome, and I love him. He's like the spook voice of a generation. You know, yeah. having done Candyman and yeah. all of the Final Destination Did movies. Ooh, one Dion more minor quibble, but just because I love the first one so much. 
Yeah. Yeah. When he when he started talking, I was like, ah, nast. Um, was that the score wasn't as strong? Because no. Philip Glass's score was so unique and unsettling. Yes. And this used some elements from it, but the rest were pretty like. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, the treasure I should be floating up the shadow right on our port side. The Shadow Puppet Shoot was great, and like oh, that coming yes. back from that original trailer that we saw all that time ago. Yes. Okay, drop anchor. Uh, there it is, drop anchor. I'm pressing F, you stupid video game. There we go. But yeah, uh, all in all, a fantastic fucking movie, and what oh, a yeah. worthy successor to the original, and both in a way that, you know, creates new lore and honors old lore, and just, oh, just. Just all around a good time. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Good times. Fantastic. I then, Sarah and I went on a a Danish movie kick. Oh, we, did you watch that Mads movie? We watched the new Mads movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, Riders nice. of Justice. <laughs> what is it good? I've heard it's pretty good. It is. It, it, do you know what that movie is? It's not what you think. <gasps> really? So it's the sword. Uh, I, I, I've got, I've got it, control. and Caitlin and I were going to watch that. Yes! And uh, she's like, what I we, think um, it's what I think it's going to be. And now you know that she was wrong. Yeah. Got it. Uh, no, it, it is very good, and uh, I would love, once you watch it, I would love to have a long discussion about it. Because yeah. that movie has a lot of stuff going on it, you know, being a non-American movie. <laughs> um, Hello. It's got a lot of Hello. stuff going on, and it's really good. And Mads just carries the day with his performance, and it's it's the movie where you know from the trailers and from the the promo stuff, it kind of feels like angry white guy getting his revenge. But Almost, that's but, the, yeah. That's not what the movie's about, and like that might okay. be a bit of a spoiler, but uh, you know, honestly. That's All what right. I'm gonna say, and it's, but yeah, it's it's very good, and I I really really recommend it. Jason, then, have you watched the Swarm yet? No, I've not watched the Swarm yet. Please. But watch. what we did watch today, uh, instead, there we go. This mango right in front of you, Tums. Oh, thank you. Uh, instead of um, uh, watching the Mads movie. We ended up watching the new Soderbergh film. No sudden oh, yeah? move. Card counter. Or No, no oh. sudden move. Oh I love no sudden move. Oh my goodness. Oh it's really cool. Turned Ooh, what out a cool you know, not, a, not heist a heist movie. Sub yeah, a heist subversion but, movie. Well oh, nice. it didn't even pretend to be a heist movie, it was just hey, we're well, a Well there was movie. a there was a heist element to it. Thomas, they had Ray Liotta. They did have Ray Liotta. Um I don't know but how yeah, you no. can get any a, any more um, any more mob movie than than that. Yeah. Okay. It was a mob movie, but not your typical mob movie. No. Let's go wreck diving, boys. Uh, are we diving the spooky wreck with the the crate that lets people know we have the fancy crate? Well, we're going to the Let's place where you turn in that crate. Love. So yes. What other Danish okay. movies did you watch? Uh, well, let's hear more about No Sudden Move from Ajusco. Oh. oh, yeah. So, we went in expecting a heist movie because, you know, Soderbergh. It's a Soderbergh. Yeah. And then you come out with but this awesome character piece. Very cool character piece. Ooh, is it this red Reaper's chest here? This yeah, okay. Yep, that's that's cool. done here. Um, I'm going to grab that last. Cool. Uh, yeah, I I quite liked it. I liked that there was essentially just betrayal after betrayal after betrayal after betrayal, like a good yes. gangster movie should be. Exactly. It's just all betrayals all time. It's just curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal, the movie. So. <laughs> <laughs> really like that. Yep, I really like that. The, it, I, I really liked the um, cameo. That was entirely yes! unexpected. Yes! Holy crap! You oh yeah, 
Mm, very good, very good cameo. Uh, and played very well, and played very straight. Which yes. I appreciate. Because the whole movie kind of definite... has this has this tilt of weirdness, and um, the cinematography was great as well. Dion, they use a, a fisheye lens for yeah, almost all of the movie. But like a slight fisheye lens. Oh. And it, it, it's great because it kind of feels like you're spying on them. It feels like you're watching them do all of these shenanigans, oh, which is it's really that's effective. Cool. That's really cool. Mm hmm. But yeah, Soderbergh, it's a good time. All right, there's it's, another. It's a good time. I I would recommend it. <coughs> Reaper's chest, and there's a another bounty skull down here. Yes, I I second Jason's yeah. recommendation. I second that emotion. Um. But, but yeah, before I talk about my other yeah. Danish movie movies, the we have news from Leica oh. Productions. Yes. Who brought you such joys as Coraline, Kubo and the Two Strings, and others? Um, I can't remember right now. Box Trolls and Paranorman. And they are doing a new movie called. Something? I, I, honestly, I've, I have forgotten the name. Um, but it is being directed by the same guy who they get to direct pretty much all of their movies, so we can expect the same levels of quality. Zack Snyder? Is, you know? Oh, like, it, okay, it, you know, you're half right, Dion. Because, imagine it was Zack Snyder, right? Yeah. But then he was a good filmmaker, and not a piece of shit. Wait, hold on, what? No, but Thomas, if you say that, it just means you're one of those people who, who mock um, the suicide of his daughter. Oh yes, yes that's Thomas. right. That's right. It makes him a good filmmaker. Exactly. It makes him above reproach. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, we've got everything from the ship, so let's, let's fucking go. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So the new, the new Leica production movie. I'm very excited about that. Uh, we've also got a little bit more, more, more news before we get back to your Danish thing of, of a different variety. We got our first yes. taste of Jackie knows the Batman score. Oh yeah. Yes, so we did. I was there. And how fucking happy. good is that? Yeah, they should just get him to score pretty much everything. He is that fucking great, great Jackie. No. Yeah. Jack Wino. Who would Jack we know Jack Wino's work from? Uh, he did Rogue One. He Up. did the Jurassic World movies. Incredible. And he did, yeah, Incredibles. He did uh, uh, Star Trek, the Star Trek movies, the new ones. Yeah. So as uh, you can see, it's in good hands. Yep. Because the 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 new Star Trek movies, pretty much the best thing about them was the score. Oh, was the score? Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, hey, it sure wasn't the makeup design. No. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> What's that character's name again? Jayla or something? Jayla, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Done her dirty, man. Done her dirty. Done her dirty. Alright, we're going me, to Thomas, who, 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 who won a uh, costume? Oh, who won that uh, year? Uh, well, yeah, who won okay. that year? That would be Oscar... No that would be Oscar-nominated and Oscar-award-winning film, Suicide Squad. 2016. Oh, fucking damn it. 2016? 2018? <sighs> What year was 2016, it? I think. God knows. It feels like it's been a hundred years. Thank God. Thank God we had James Gunn Suicide Squad to wash that horrible taste out of our mouth. Yeah. I'm glad one day I'll be dead, so I won't have any risk of watching that movie again. That is good. That is good, yeah. Called Looking on the Bright Side. That is Looking on the Bright Side. I like your upbeat attitude. Ooh, Ooh this is edgy. Ooh. Oh my word, look at this man. Look at this fucking joke. He's a servant of the flame. Don't you want me a servant of the flame? Oh. Yeah. No, Mango, you should. No, don't speak to him, Mango. No, Mango, please, Mango. Ah. Don't speak to that man. 
Mango, stay away from that man. Wow, this guy looks like he lives in a society. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start dropping stuff off the, the bowsprit, you guys. Isn't it funny that people who live in a society okay. also tend to be, like, isolated? <laughs> and tend to be massive <laughs> jokes. Yeah, um, tend to not really be surrounded by a lot of people. That is weird. I wonder if they'll ever figure that out. No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think not. Wait, we got another trailer. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! We got a trailer for Guillermo del Toro's new movie. Oh, yes. It looks so good. It. How is it? Terrible? It is it an gives away nothing trailer. and it looks amazing. Yeah, the whole trailer gives away absolutely fuck all. It just it makes you, you want to know Guillermo more. Del Toro film, so, you know, don't tell me it's Guillermo del nothing. Toro with maybe the most incredible cast I've ever seen in a movie. It is. I guess such Michael Fassbender isn't cost. in there, is there? Hey, hey, hey. Well, no. Hey, is he? Thomas said an incredible cast. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's what I'm just what I'm thinking. I'm glad Thomas has come round. I. <laughs> yeah. Good Thomas, it shows growth. <laughs> you shut up! <laughs> What's really funny is I Perfection. was speaking to people today with absolutely no. Um, no, no knowledge of the bits in Cinebeards, and they were making fun of. Uh, you mean the Fast entire human Assassin's population? Creed. <laughs> they should make fun of Fast Bender and Assassin's Creed. He was terrible in that movie. Everyone was terrible in that movie. The movie was terrible. I thought you were great, Thomas. Thank you. Uh, I, I've Again. been playing a little bit of the um, the uh, seniors market tonight. Here, I can talk nice about Sony. I was playing a bit of the uh, Ghost of Tsushima Fucking DLT. Show. Yes. And uh, you can play a flute to some kitties, and then they run up to you, and you get to scritch them, and they cuddle. And Ooh. That's great. That's G O T Y. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. damn right. I guess I wanted it two years in a row. <laughs> First time foxes, now kitties. They know what the They really do. Foxes, kitties, and perfect parries. But foxes, kitties, perfect parries, and that cool hat from Samurai Jack. <laughs> yes. I love that game. It's so pretty. And it's so nice with the 60 FPS and HDR. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. I love you, my PS5. Real pretty. I was also playing um, Hollow Knight in 120 FPS. Uh, HDR on my Xbox, which is oh, similarly yeah. delicious. Uh, when's Silk Song coming out? No one knows oh. yet. Shut up. Ne never mind Silk Song. There is an important game that came out uh, on Xbox this past week. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Skatebird. Oh yes, yeah, baby. If it had multiplayer, dude, that's what we would be doing. That is I honestly think we should. Does does not a multiplayer? If it does, we got to try it next week. If it does a multiplayer, we got to try it next week. I talk about my Danish movies. Oh yeah, you got a second Danish movie. I got a second Danish movie, and then what? A, a truly, truly horrific movie. Oh yeah. What, what's the second Danish movie? So remember, remember oh, right. I shared. Uh, uh, guys. Yeah, yeah. a new quest. If you could just pull the, uh, the, the the ship back under the bridge here, I've got to drop. Are yeah, you gonna try right and there. drop an explosive barrel on it? No, it's a pig crate. I got a pig crate. You got a pig crate. All right. Well, I'll take the pig crate. Are we still to trying to pig. get? Okay, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. I'll pick it up in the water. Okay. Ashen Marauder's chest. Ooh. Hold on to that. Okay. Well, Dion got the chest, so I'm gonna go get a pig. Okay. Tell us about your Danish movie, Thomas. Uh, okay. Danish? So, so y'all remember the the trailer that I shared a while ago for, with Jake Gyllenhaal for a movie called The Guilty, where yeah. he plays a, a 911 operator, and you know stuff occurs, and he's basically yeah. the only person in the movie. So when I was legally purchasing it. Uh, 
the legally purchased uh, framework was like, hey, don't you mean this movie from 2018 that's Danish? And I was like, okay, well, this is obviously going to be better. Uh, and oh boy, was it. The Danish movie, The Guilty, is a 9 out of 10. It is one oh, wow. of the oh, best really? narrative movies I've ever watched. It's fucking incredible. It really, really is. And I ho that is my recommendation for this week. It is the guilty uh, 2018 Danish movie. I don't know anyone's name in it. But it is just so good and so tight and so purposeful. And everything that is happening slowly unfolds. And the story peels back as events unfold. And it, uh, it's just incredible. And then the American version is not that. They took that movie and almost shot for shot remade it, but the Ooh. directing was that of, okay, now but overact though. Whereas the Danish one was this kind of slow ramp, like slow, incredibly tense ramp up. This was just, mm -hmm. ah, yelling from, from day one. And I don't think that's Jake Gyllenhaal's fault, but he did also produce the movie, so it kind of is his fault. Uh, mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and they also in the American version, uh, the. Wait, are you still bringing the, the ship under, under here? No. Oh, no. I thought that's what Jason wanted. Swim. And I was waiting here with the the chest, hoping to throw it onto the ship. Oh, it's one of those mermaid statues that hurts you. Alright, let it hurt you. Um, in the American version, they added a conceit because American audiences would not understand the reasoning of the main character. They had to add in a whole thing in order to make it more palatable for American audiences. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
the redhead actress from Game of Thrones, who I don't know. Sansa. I don't know her name. S Sansa, the one who played. Uh, mm -hmm. No, no, no. Jackson? The... No, 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 uh, a good actress, um, oh, uh, the Peter, one, the one that played the, 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 the other one that married the guy who she dated in the show. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, uh, um, yes, I know her, the British later. one. Yes, um, yes. So yeah, yeah it's just her, James. and she's good, and it features, um, your boy, Victor Frankenstein, from Penny Dreadful. Ooh, nice. And he is fantastic in the movie, and so is she, and the movie itself is good. I give it my recommendation and have issues with the ending. What's it called again? Uh, The Honeymoon. The Honeymoon. 28. Isn't that a series of comedy um, films? Oh, that's I The Hangover. So. Then hey, I Dion, watched... you've got a chest. Uh, well, I have a treasure, and so I'm swimming towards you guys with it, because I'm too fucking stingy to drop it. I believe Dion, we are so far away. It was one of those um, statue things on Gems. the beach that you had to kill, and I fought off two sharks to, to destroy it. So. Oh. Yeah, I, I just gave up on fighting that thing. I was like, uh, not worth it. I shot myself then... out of a cannon and landed right on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> then I watched the... Um... The new Nick Cage movie, which is bonkers. Uh, it is obviously. like if if they no no dude, but like if they which, which, gave which one? Because um, he's been in like Ghost five Land. movies. Oh yes, but it's out. like if they yeah, it just came out, and it's the best way I can describe it is if they instead of going to uh, George Miller in the 80s to direct Mad Max, they went to Takeshi Miike and were like, hey, don't you want to do this? And he was like, I will after some drugs. And then, th and then that movie. It's it's great. It's bonkers. Watch it and enjoy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a fun time. It's mental. Uh, yeah, that's all I watched recently. Nice. Man, what if is just so good. Is it is it still holding up? Was there a new mm -hmm. one this week? I mean I, I assume there was a new one on so what was the new one? I saw an ad for a oh, Killmonger. On Wednesday one. it was Killmonger. Yeah yeah, yeah yeah. That one was probably narratively the best one so far. Like that did the most with the premise. Because it really was like tightly written and plausible. I'm gonna nice. lift Anchor Thomas and turn us around so we can go get Dion, otherwise it's gonna take about this one to learn co. You know, he'll be eaten by sharks uh, long before. Yeah, I'm almost dead, but I refuse to give uh, up. Okay, well then in that case, I'm gonna shoot myself to learn Cove in the meantime. Okay. I will bring up the Anchor and get there when I get there. Alright, I, I, I think we can say goodbye to the Beastness. Bye, Beastness. Can we say goodbye to the Beastness? We love you. Um, we can say, uh, recommendation really? is Candyman. Recommendation yeah. is Candyman. We we did thoroughly enjoy it. And, oh Actually, god, it's awful. Uh, uh, correction, recommendation is watch the old Candyman first, and then yeah. watch Candyman. Yes, that is for sure.